हरे कृष्णा द माइंड ट्रीट्स अस बैडली वी ट्रस्ट इट मैडली सपोज वी वर वर्किंग विथ सम बिजनेस पर्सन सम एजेंट सम डीलर एंड दे ऑलवेज ट्रीटेड अस बैडली नॉट पोलाइट विथ अस आई वुड टेक अ लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड नॉट डिलीवर द प्रोडक्ट इन टाइम चीटर्स Now, if we had the interaction like that once or twice with them, after that we would become suspicious. Now, we would not want to deal with them. What to speak? We would certainly not trust them. But unfortunately, with when it comes to our own inner agent, we could say the mind, which is inside us, it offers us various proposals. Come on, do this. You'll enjoy. Come on, just don't do it. It's just too much trouble. and it treats us badly in the sense that the remedies it prescribes them they actually turned out to be like cures that are worse than the disease if there were somebody who claimed to be a doctor and they peddled a cure and we found that by taking that cure our health wasn't we would naturally be very upset similarly if we see the mind tells us oh this is wrong with your life that is wrong with that situation that is wrong over there just just quit now or just do this just do that and we just keep doing it no matter how many times the mind cheats us no matter how many times we experience the consequences of the folly of listening to the mind still we again when the next time the mind proposes something immediately we succumb Why are we so gullible? Why are we so naive and so trustful of the mind? Multiple reasons. One is that the mind is inside us, and whatever is inside us, we we think it is us. And because of that, when a certain idea comes up, we don't think that this is the mind proposing. We think it is my idea. And when it is my idea, our ego comes into the picture and says, "Obviously, my idea must be good." because i am a good person i am smart so my idea must also be smart although that idea may be totally dumb so if we gain spiritual knowledge then we understand that everything inside me is not me when we understand that the mind inside me is different from me then we will become a bit more alert even a bit more leery in dealing with the mind so because the mind is inside us we tend to instinct impulsively identify with it and the more we become introspective both through philosophical study and through trained self observation so when we we plan this is the way i'm going to act and suddenly something pushes off us off in another direction at that time we recognize oh this must be the mind pushing me so we need first of all awareness that the mind is inside us secondly we need overall at, at least a direction in which we want to go and when we start feeling ourselves being pushed in another direction then we understand hey this is some some other forces over here and then we can recognize that force to be the mind and push ourselves push against it and get back on the right track so the bhagavad gita urges us to be proactive like this when it states in 6.5 उद्धरेदात्मनात्मात्मसादेत आत्मनो बंधुर आत्म रिपुरात्म इट्स इज वी नीड टू एलिवेट आर सेल्स विद द माइंड एंड नॉट डिग्रेड आर सेल्स बिकॉज द माइंड इज द फ्रेंड ऑफ द सेल्फ एंड द माइंड इज ऑल्सो द एनिमी ऑफ द सेल्फ सो वेन द माइंड गिव सम प्रपोजिशन समटाइम्स द प्रपोजिशन माइट बी गुड बट मेनी टाइम्स इट माइट बी बैड so if we understand that i am different from the mind then we will evaluate what the mind is saying and by ensuring that we don't get carried away by its propositions we will protect ourselves from being treated badly by the mind thank you hare krishna